Okay, so, so this video is going to be talking about Sith Lords and the Jedi and the balance of the Force. So, um, we're going to ask questions about it and we're going to answer them as, as, best, as best as you could. Right, William? Right. We're gonna talk about part Star Wars Part Nine. Wow! Wow, Part Nine. We're gonna do some theories about what, well, like Kylo Ren, the Knights of Ren. Did you like that movie, William? Yes, I do. It's my favorite movie in the whole world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What part was your favorite part? My part when that girl says. Are you talking about no. Ray? Ray, the girl, Ray, Ray. The Jedi? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then it was the same guy from from part nine. The yeah. other one. The oh, other the other Sith Lord guy? Yeah. The one who's laughing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, so we're going to start off with a question. Okay, so do you? what do you feel is going to happen with this new movie that's coming out? Um, the one where Palpatine laughs at the end. Well, in the trailer, it shows that the Death Star, remember, in the ocean? The ocean? Yeah. So I think he's like, he's like, you know, his soul is going to be attached to it. Right, William? Yeah. Like at the end of like part part six, where it shows the, the yeah. ghosts of the Jedi. Yeah. Like and Yoda, Obi-Wan. His, his body. Yeah, his blue body. And so I think that Palpatine's soul might have been attached to the Death Star. The guy. Yeah, the guy. The guy with the robe. Yeah. So, so what do you think uh, Ray's role is going to be in this movie, William? Well, well, he was, well, I don't really know, but I right. guess you can ask it. Um, I don't really, we don't really know what his, his character is going to do in the movie. We don't really know that much yet. We just know he's going to be in the movie because of his laugh. That's right, Anna. That's, That's right. right. Mm-hmm. So, maybe we can talk a little bit about the old Sith Lords and were they able to do the, uh, how, how long do they normally, be? did they leave, did they live? Happily ever after. Mm. Well, like a really long time because, like Palpatine, he's lived for, like, the beginning, in you know, like part one. Or part two. And I so, he's been there for like six movies. Ever since the beginning. That's a long time. That's a long time. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Do you think do you think so, William? You're right. But, like... So... So, what did you think about the first couple movies? So, in canon, if you go further back, um, which is your favorite Sith Lord? Hmm... Probably the like the most famous one, like Darth Plagueis. Yeah, because he's the one who taught Palpatine everything he knew, and the reason why he wasn't like the a first movie was because Sidious killed him. Right, right. which is the explains the rule of two, which Darth Bane created. And supposedly he was alive during uh, during, uh I think it Revenge was of the Sith, Clone, Clone the Clone Wars. Wars. Yeah. yeah. How long was he with Palpatine before he, uh, he how, got killed? How long? Well, in the book called like, Darth Plagueis, he raised, he tra trained him when he was a kid. Yeah, he trained him. Mm -hmm. He did train him. Into so, like the Sith Lord? Mm -hmm. No, it did happen. Yeah, it did. It did? It did. Okay, so that's probably like a long time. <laughs> a long time of the story. Not like, not like... Like a teenager kind of kid. He was like, like a, a teenager, yeah. Was, what, what planet was he on? Uh, Naboo. Naboo, right? Yeah. And, uh... Let's see. So he... Plagueis found him in Naboo and started teaching him. So who teached... Ta who taught... Uh, Darth Plagueis? Darth Plagueis. It was uh, Darth Tenebris. Tenebris. He's, he's a... He's a He's a bit, a bit. And what is uh, what is Plagueis? 
immune. Immune, yeah. And what is uh, William? What is uh, uh, sit uh, Palpatine? Palpatine. Hmm. Was that guy? Tell me which guy was that. He's the guy with the robes. Oh, the robes. I remember him on the back of the past. I saw him, but I don't know what he looks like. No, what 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 is he? You like, mean with the robot like, hand? Because I know him. The robot hand. The one with the skull face? No, with the robot hand. Robot, remember? He don't use the laser sword. Uh, Darth Vader or Grievous? We prefer to you call mean? it a lightsaber. A lightsaber. Only, only Disney calls those a laser sword. That's right. With that robot hand, you don't want to wear a laser uh, so, so, better yet, oh, what is your, favorite. what do you think? You think Disney did a great job continuing the Movie? whole Star Wars saga? Like, yeah. what we think about it? Yeah, what do you think about Disney taking over uh, for George Star Wars Lucas yeah. and taking over the, do you think it's epic? It's great? Um, it's awesome. Yeah, I mean, this, uh, the only thing that they... I mean, you know Disney, they go over the top with the special effects, so... Uh -huh. So, I think, like, the special effects is kind of good because it's Disney, because they go over the top with it. But the story just doesn't really make any any sense. And what's am your... I, am I, am I, am and I what do you opinion? think about Rose? Rose like, from Plants for Zombies? No, no. Rose from, from, from Star, Star Wars. Wars. Oh, Star she, Wars. She's gorgeous, huh? Yeah, she's a beautiful girl like Jessie. Oh, my God. Nice. That's right. Um, That's right. <laughs> well, she did contribute to the film, but the director could have easily didn't really have to add her in the movie. And if she wasn't in the movie, are you trying to say that her entire existence in the in the Star Wars the system the system? story was pointless? Yes, I I, I personally think so. Oh, okay. Who else do you feel that should have not have even been in that movie? Movie. Mm -hmm. Ninja Turtles? No, they're not even in the movie, William. Um, I Star think Walker? who shouldn't. Well, Skywalker actually belongs in the Star Wars. Um, I think. I think probably. F mm, Five. I don't think they needed to add Poe in it. Or Doug. Paul, oh, really? I don't think he should have been in there. Oh, the, the pink-haired lady. The pink-haired lady. The pink-haired lady didn't really do anything to the plot. She just kept the flight plan really a secret. She didn't really do anything for the... Skywalker. For the Skywalker, yeah, what he said. Yeah. Wow. Now we gotta talk, and this is part one. A part one of Star Wars. We gotta talk about that. That red guy. So what I really don't really understand is that people don't like the prequels instead of the new ones. And they're called like the prequel haters or something like that. But I personally like the prequels because they explain how Palpatine grew in power. And without those movies to explain it, then I think I think the story would have been pointless if they continued. So I personally like the prequels more than the new sequels. So these new sequels really don't explain how the First Order came to be, or... Well, of course they do. There's books. And comics. The books, but they, they don't revisit that I, that, that, that realm in of film. where, in film. In film. So, so you, just the so audience is still guessing on where the First Order was the whole entire time. Were they in the outer regions? <laughs> Did they just come out of nowhere with like a, a ginormous Death Star? And ginormous... Just, Death? It just doesn't really make any sense. So when they built the Death Star, they just kept building a bigger and bigger Death Star. Yeah, they probably built it during uh, Palpatine's reign when he was probably building his Death Star. Snoke probably had a group of people to build his Death Star during that time period. So... And it also doesn't really explain the Knights of Ren. Supposedly, the Rise of Skywalker is supposed to explain okay, Knights of Ren. Okay, so, so, so he has the Knights of Ren. I haven't seen them. 
Of course not, because they're been, like keeping it as a surprise. Oh, so this is coming like, out in a new movie. Yeah. This third installment is going to explain everything. Supposedly, yes. Ah, like who was Sno Snoke? Yeah. And who was Ray's parents? Or Ray's parents, yeah. All that is going to be explained, right? So that's going to fix all the, the little holes in the previous movies. Mm, yeah, I think it'll like tie in some loose ends. And it's gonna make everybody love those other two movies. <laughs> Travel of time! Well, yeah, I think so because people are really hoping to see it. So, what about the old school fans compared to the new school? Fans. Well, the old school fans are like the ones who like read, who read the extended universe mm -hmm. content, but the new ones just watch the movies, not like the extended con extended universe content. So everything that's pre Disney is what canon? What? Uh, non canon. Non -canon. Mickey Mouse. So like Darth, <laughs> like Darth Plagueis is non no longer canon, and. And like Dark Harvest, for example, takes place like a thousand years ago. Is uh, another book, but they that's considered not canon. But in my opinion, I personally love that book because I read it. But I really love that book, and I consider it canon. I think the fans should decide which ones to decide canon. Not like a big corporation telling them what's what to consider canon. And if somebody makes like a video like us, they're gonna say like. Their, their version of the extended universe. Do you feel that Disney listens to their fans? Only the ones who like it. If they don't like it and they try to give like Disney a... Uh, like rating? Like some sort of bad... No, not rating, but like a... Bad review. A bad review, like explaining all their bad stuff in the movie. Or... Negative... Comments. Yeah, they seem to. They seem <laughs> to not really like it. So Disney just call them like haters, and they don't really consider them to be. They consider them to be like toxic, like and that house. they blame the fans to be the, <laughs> to be the reason why the movies failed. Like Solo, uh, I think that the director Ron Howard, I think that's his, or that's his name, but he made like a. He made like a video explaining like a. Explain why the fan the fans made the movie drop in like the box office. And Fanos snapped his fingers. Or ne that never happened. Not in Disney. So anyway, so um not in Star Wars. So that's where I don't understand where things are going because I kinda liked a little bit of um solo, a little bit, but I really loved um uh, the only great movie that I feel Disney has made with Star Wars was Rogue One. I love Rogue One. It just takes place before the New Hope. I feel like they followed some of what George Lucas's blueprint to help make that, especially the end scene where it showed where Darth Vader made his his little cameo appearance. Oh, I love that scene. That was how, really cool. How he devastated the. The rebellion soldiers and that in my opinion is what i was expecting of kylo ren but that didn't happen he, he just throws a little he's, fit a when he's angry him. yeah he's just an emotional pile of mess yeah. and he's just unleashing it on like some random soldiers of his they all don't understand like why is this guy having a fit he's just not really fit for being a leader And, uh, so, how do you feel of him going toe-to-toe -to -toe with, with Rey and all her extensive Jedi training that she received from... Luke? Yeah, Luke. Well, she didn't really receive any sword, sword training. She only knew about the Force. Right, William? That's right. And, and William, what about, what about the, the training that he received from Luke? Do you think it was, it was enough? Well, the other next part, the other first part is the one is freaking out. He said, Mashama Pass. So now the this time we are talking about is I don't know. Do you know? 
I, I wow, know. that was really interesting, William. But so, what do you think about Rose? I mean, I just can't get off of that subject of Rose. Rose? She has to be like the key part of that movie, don't mm -hmm. you think? Mini Rose, that girl who got some bombs or nature. Oh, that was her sister. That was her sister. Yeah. That was the pretty sister. I think the reason why the person added her in the movie, like Brian Johnson. Yeah. He he added her to be like a moral. Like each Disney movie has like a moral to it. Mm hmm And I think her I mean at the when she said Finn, she said something like if you can't like save if you can't save the ones you love, then why do you keep on leaving? I think. And then she, like, kissed Finn, and then I guess they're in love, I guess. But so she loves Finn. She loves but Finn. But do you think Finn loves her? Oh. Or do you feel that Finn would have fell in love with her sister instead? If he had to choose. Well, if her sister survived and they both met, then I think they would have. But I don't really see that scene coming because he was bailing out on the resistance, so... He was, he was. But it was a good thing that he had enough, uh, enough training to actually survive at least a minute with Kylo Ren. Well, this, this concludes our, uh, our questions and about the, uh... Star Wars Universe with our two experts here, Anakin and William Menjivar. So we will revisit this at another date. Another and, date. And talk about more about Star Wars. Yeah. And then see the Toad Brothers. And then see the Toad Brothers. You shall not pass my brain. More? Oh, that little fella. Hi, you to you. You shall not pass my hand! <coughs> Good job, Anakin. You did a great job. Did I get you did a great job? Oh, of course you could have done. Please subscribe my videos and goodbye.